Hello friends, I'm Hoom and today we're dialed in the fantastic world of Linux and today I'm gonna show you two amazing applications I've been using in my day-to-day -day life. So recently I installed Hyplan plus Arch setup and this setup is literally one of the best experiences of Linux you can get out there. But the two applications I'm gonna show you will run on any device. So yeah, it should be okay. And let's get started. Okay, so let's start with Yasi file manager. Now let me just show you what it is. This is an everyday file manager which actually works inside your terminal. It can work on any terminal like right now I'm using KT. But let's say you want to use console or the normal terminal you get on GNOME or KDE environments. Just type Yasi, enter and there we go. It will automatically configure itself to the color scheme but you can also change it from here like this. Now it is working and looking gorgeous isn't it? Yep it is. And you can easily access and see anything you want just like this. Yep, it works flawlessly but I usually use it on Kitty like this. Now, in order to install it, you can just go to your terminal and type sudo pacman-s yasi. But let's say you're on another desktop, for example, like Ubuntu or Fedora, you can just type normal simple commands like sudo apt yartnf install yasi. It would do it, okay? Now let me just properly showcase it to you, okay? Yep. So now on everyday work, you're just opening some files, managers, and you are doing some stuff which you usually do in your daily life, fixing things and everything. Yep, just like that. But you want a clean layout. Like for example, I have my Nautilus, which is my GNOME files. It works good, it looks good, it just does the things, but it's a little slow in my everyday life. And that is where Yasi comes in. It's clean, aesthetic and fast to be honest. Like, let me just show you. Let's say I want to open a video. For example, I go to video and launch the particular video I want to see and it will be launched. Now on here, I'm gonna have to use this. So first I go to my home or video and then open the video which I'll be opening. Nearly the same amount but on here you're more efficient because you're just on your keyboard. You can also use your mouse like the mouse wheel or the scrolling. You can easily do that and it just works. Okay, you can just select things as well if you want to. But that's not the only thing. The best part I like about it is the overall navigation of how we work. Like for example, on the left side you can see all the folders which are before them like the main folder. Then we have the subfolder and then the subfolders. It works like that. And in order to open a folder, you just press right or left arrows to go from the left side, which is the parent directory and the right side, which are the subfolders, for example, right arrow. And then let's say I want to open my pictures. So I'm going to go to pictures, go. And now let's say there are no more folders, but files. For example, we have images. So you're going to see the preview of these images as well. And it just not limits it to just images you can also see the images and previews of the video files as well as you can see or if you have a neat text-based document you can see it as well or if you have a different format like mp3 you're gonna see the file information for example the format in which it was recorded and exported it just works flawlessly in this opinion and let's say i want to edit something for example there is this install.sh file in which I'm gonna have to change a few things so I'm just gonna press enter to open the file and it's gonna open on the normal nano if or if you have gedit or text editor which is a GUI text editing platform you can also use it like that it just works flawlessly to be honest like yeah it does and yeah the wallpapers are looking okay ish but I have a better well set of wallpapers like this one this one this one this one this one yep I'm gonna I'm gonna have to import a more, few more wallpapers as well. But you would have already guessed it the reason why I chose this Yasi file manager over this one. And it's the customization. So let's say I have this customization which is based on the color theme as you can see. Like right now everything is inside the color theme like the color palette across all the applications and stuff is same. But it's not that consistent on normal files like for example I have Nautilus file manager as you can see but on terminal based applications it just works flawlessly and pretty lightweight for example i'd like to show you let's say i change my wallpaper to maybe this one 
now i have used this wallpaper and everything is changed into this particular color palette and the same applies to this as you can see it is looking so damn gorgeous on different color schemes as well well let's change it again shall we let's go to wall set again and let's say this time i'm gonna go with this one we have this particular wallpaper which i don't like that much but still now you can see the color scheme has been changed you can do it to anything like it just works so damn good but i'm gonna stay with my original wallpaper you know this one yep it just works flawlessly and not just that let's say i want to copy a file like for example this one now you can see with c i can copy and now let's say i want to paste somewhere else for example in the videos i can just type y you see there is so much more and let's say you want to use your own custom shortcuts you can also do that at ease and now this is time for the segue to our sponsor data surf the smart local first browser that is built for creators dreamers or anyone who actually thinks on the internet and everything i researched for the video before the pre-production was done inside data surf just like this and most browsers track you but data surf doesn't data surf is a local first browser so yes i use data surf and it's not just a browser for me it's a one-stop destination for my workspace it is like my second brain and you can check data surf with the link in the description and let's continue the video and now let's go to the second application in our list but before that let me just change the wallpaper a little more like yeah let's go on with that blue one now the second application is a must have and you actually have it already it is an mdui now you might wonder like this is a network manager text based ui but why should we use it like you might wonder why well let me just show you the reason for example here i have my nmtui and i want to change my wi-fi network so i can just do that in seconds and the delay in normal file managers or gnome desktops wi-fi and everything else it made me frustrated and that same applies to the bluetooth as well but the tui works flawless you can change your system's host name from here at ease and then you can change your hardware and wi-fi radio signals like do you want to broadcast yourself or not and then you can edit some connections like you see let's say you are changing your password you can easily do that along with all the other stuff like the configuration ddns and everything else you can do everything at ease you can easily change things to client access mode or anything and when you're done just go to ok you're done and then connect to a different wi-fi wi it just works in an instant like here i connect to a wi-fi and it's connected just like that fast yep just like that and not just that you can disable or enable loop as well yep just like that now i know what you'd say like this is perfect for window managers or high plan setups or things like that where you do not have a proper desktop environment but i've been using it on my gnome desktop as well it just works so flawlessly and it is available on everything pre-installed just like that and now you might say like yeah it looks good that's the reason you might have this on your hyperlan setup but that's not okay like that's not the whole truth even if i open it on my gnome's terminal like i have two desktop environments gnome and hyperland i can use it here as well just like that you see well it actually looks better on gnome console but leaving that so yep i believe that's it for this video yep these were the beautiful applications i've been using in my day-to-day -day life here and to be honest they have made my experience far better like actually awesome and remember an empty ui is already on your system but yasi you're gonna have to install it you can easily found, find it in any depository of the destro whether it's arch ubuntu or any other and yeah this video is particularly shown because like you might wonder like you don't even need these applications but maybe you would like to have them in your setup to be honest because some things just work especially if you have good things like an awesome nmtui like an awesome network manager which works at hyper speed like this or maybe an awesome and beautiful terminal based file manager which gets your work done in no time and yeah it is fast and it gives you a broader aspect of how your folders and everything is organized in your system 
and both of them are pretty lightweight so yep i hope you have enjoyed the video if you do then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel and i'll meet next video till then i'm on signing out